Batten down the hatches, I sense a security breach incoming. There are plenty of SCPs ranging in size, smarts, and smells, but most are at least a little bit manageable. Build a containment cell that's suited to their particular anomalous qualities and keep an eye on it as often as possible. Unfortunately, some are near impossible to contain. Those Keter lunatics always breaking out and running rampant. There isn't much anyone can do to actually contain them though, so you should probably know the ones you're most likely to run into at the grocery store and have to have an awkwardly polite conversation with. Hello. Hello horror heads and welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. I'm your horror host Keegan Hughes and today we're going to take a look at the top 5 SCP monsters most likely to escape, part 2. Craving some additional SCP content? Well look no further than our Top 5 Scary SCP Foundation Videos playlist right over here. Wicked. Let's get started. Coming in number 5, we've got SCP-2662. This SCP makes its way out of containment pretty regularly. The thing is, it doesn't really want to. It would be perfectly happy to stay under Foundation custody until the end time, spending most days lazing about and eating on someone else's dime. Unfortunately, that'll never be the case for this strange, stretched out humanoid. 2662 is a 4 meter tall, tentacled individual who tends to wield some sort of psychic influence over the people that spend a lot of time near it. Lots of folks seem to become attuned to its wants and needs over time and feel compelled to act in ways that will please the creature. That's just the beginning though. If it were just a vaguely eldritch being who wanted to play video games and get the daily newspaper, the foundation would probably label it Euclid. Hell, maybe even safe. These days, that's not an option though, much to 2662's chagrin. The secondary anomalous effect is the spontaneous generation of religious followings around once a month. 2662 does not choose to make these zealots appear, they just sort of do. So once a month, out of the blue, a group of crazed religious lunatics will attempt to break 2662 out of whatever foundation site currently has. It. The weirdos then perform all sorts of nasty, violent, and sexual rituals that usually center our cephalopod pal. One such example was a group known as Towards Him, spelled H-Y-M-N, blasting into the containment cell, cutting their hands, pleasuring themselves, and then drawing symbols on the walls with a mixture of blood and other fluids. 2662 was horrified when this was happening, but the group seemed quite pleased with themselves. This sort of thing happens often, usually with them taking 2662 out of containment when all is said and done. And no matter how many times the Foundation eliminates these groups, they come back in a different capacity with all prior knowledge of Foundation strategies intact. The poor anomaly just wants some peace and quiet. Coming in at number 4, we've got SCP-2006. As long as everyone follows the rules, we should be okay. Well, at least for a little bit. It really is only a matter of time until this SCP decides it's time to try something new. On a good day, SCP-2006 is an anomalous sphere that just floats around its containment cell. The one and only goal of this anomaly is to scare as many people as possible. Sounds pretty bad now, doesn't it? Add in the ability to shapeshift without any known limits and you can probably see the impending apocalypse on the horizon. Thankfully, this being is gullible and doesn't really understand what people find scary. You can't read their reactions too well either. Most of the time, it'll try and jump out from around corners to shock new doctors and researchers. It also likes to take the form of Roman from the 50s sci-fi goof fest robot monster. It looks like a gorilla suit with a diving helmet bolted to the top. Not exactly the image of terror. Here's the thing though, the Foundation keeps 2006 on a steady diet of cheesy, unscary fiction in order to keep its curiosity sated. They bring in actors to pretend to be scared when 2006 transforms into rubber suit monsters for the hundredth time. This way they can keep it satisfied, thinking that it has successfully terrified some humans. Definitely don't want it getting any bright ideas. Because the day it realizes that causing damage to the foundation site would cause terror, it's game over. If someone brings in a movie that's a little too real life spooky, we're all doomed. Hell, if it catches on that the folks it's been scaring are simply acting, it might attempt to do something more drastic. And with unlimited shape-shifting potential, it could break free and cause problems with minimal effort. For now, it's quite friendly with folks that's already scared, and the Foundation would really like to keep it that way. Coming in at number 3, we've got SCP-035. In order to keep this porcelain mask contained, the Foundation keeps it in a sealed glass case no less than 10 centimeters thick. The case is then placed in a room made of steel, iron, and lead. Doors are triple locked, and at least two armed guards are posted outside of the metal cube at all times. Nobody's allowed in or out under any circumstances. Then, every two weeks, it has to be moved to a new sealed case, and the old one must be disposed of. It seems as though this should be enough to contain any Anything, but it still isn't enough. There are slip-ups and 035 has made it out on multiple occasions. It's constantly dripping corrosive fluid from its eyes and mouth, which will decay pretty much anything it comes into contact with. Glass seems to last the longest without totally falling apart, thus the thick glass case. Anyone who comes within a few meters of the mask will feel compelled to put it on. Doing so fries the brain and replaces their personality with that of the mask. The host body will then decay until it is no longer functional. When possessing a body, 035's personality shines through. It claims to have been present at many momentous occasions 
occasions throughout history and loves to convince people to become its servants. It uses this ability to rally support and attempt to escape Foundation custody. Multiple escape attempts have led researchers to permanently seal the mask away, but this only served to make it angry. An aura of negativity surrounds the mask now, compelling anyone who enters the space around it to attempt suicide. All of the walls surrounding 035 secrete a strange black substance too, consisting of blood and unknown contaminants. The goop is highly corrosive, like the stuff coming out of the mask, and threatens the structural integrity of any room it's kept in. With both the negativity aura and the ability to summon secretions, it's only a matter of time before the mask makes another great escape. Coming in at number two, we've got SCP-096. There's no stopping this one. There's no stopping this one. If someone sees an image of its face in any capacity, no matter how far away they are, 096 will track them down and kill them. The pale, lanky humanoid will cross oceans, plains, and mountains to unhinge its terrifying maw and tear folks to pieces. It's been clocked running at 35 kilometers per hour and has been known to accelerate to much faster speeds. In fact, the top recorded speed has been redacted, so we probably don't want to know how fast it can actually go. The Foundation has attempted to contain it to prevent these violent activities from continuing, but to no avail. If it's compelled to find the person who witnessed its visage, it'll make its way to them no matter what. And in the process of doing so, more people are likely to see it and become targets. The only way to prevent this from happening is to terminate it, and that has also proven to be quite difficult. The thing has withstood anti-tank rounds, taken hundreds of 50 cal rounds to every part of its body, and kept trucking. You could tear all the flesh away from its bones, and it would continue killing. So... Yeah, this thing is gonna escape, and it'll escape again. Thankfully, it seems to become docile after eliminating everyone who's seen it. This has provided the Foundation with ample opportunity to retrieve and safely place it back in containment where no one else can witness it. One of these days, though, there's gonna be a chain reaction of witnesses, and we're all done for. And finally, at number one, we've got SCP-2845. So go ahead and read the containment procedures for this godly deer. Just go and see how complex and ridiculous it gets. There are morality plays performed featuring six masked figures, people are forced to drink half liters of olive oil before breaking boulders with hammers. Children are to be roasted and eaten, and more, all on a constant 63 hour and 54 minute cycle. A lot of ritualistic nonsense has been outsourced at this point, but it must be done by the numbers all the time with no mistakes or variations. Now that the ritual has been set, it must be performed exactly so for the rest of time. If this can be kept up, 2845 will remain contained. If not, the godlike creature will escape and transmute matter to its heart's content. This will be catastrophic for everyone involved. Really, there shouldn't be any way for the Foundation to contain this powerful entity. Any cage they could build would be immediately turned into metallic hydrogen and helium, and the beast would run free as if nothing had been there in the first place. But by divining this insane ritual and performing it forever, the deer remains in one place. One slip up though, and it all falls apart. Let's see how long they can keep it up. Ready to face any of these entities down in the street? Maybe bump into them as you pump gas, or maybe catch a quick glimpse in the background of an unboxing video? I'm sure that would spell doom for you, but wouldn't it be interesting? So what'd you think of the list? Do you think any of these SCPs are going to escape anytime soon? What would be the hardest SCP to contain? What about the easiest? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more blasphemous ones from the top five SCP monsters most likely to escape. Blacksimum says, I don't see why they don't just put Abel and SCP-682 together. Neither would try to escape, but they're busy fighting each other for all eternity. You know what? That's so crazy, it just might work. Emmanuel Parfait says SCP-343 could and has escaped, since he can just walk out whenever he wants. Yeah, but he keeps coming back. He puts himself back into containment and then escapes again anyways. Shakar Zimmerman says, I want to answer that question, but it is a secret between me and that demon, knowing that if I go through with this plan, he might want something back, but let's just say a secret. Demons will always want something in return, and it's usually a little more than what you're willing to give up, so be careful. Ordinary Gamer says, why keep Keegan always cuts off his beard, mustache, and hair to keep you on your toes. And Victor Baldez says, I saw the scariest of all decorations in the store this week. It wasn't any Halloween decoration, it was some Christmas decorations. We're barely halfway through September and Christmas decorations are out. That's really scary. It's earlier every year. Soon enough, you'll be buying your mistletoe in April. And that's all the time we have for today. Before I play the song of time at the wrong time, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more slippery SCPs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This kind of thing happens often, usually with them taking him out of containment. This sort of thing usually. But here's the thing the Foundation keeps 2006 on a daddy, daddy diet. Yes, a daddy diet. This way they can keep it satisfied, thinking that it's totally. Multiple escape attempts led researchers, 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 researchers. Smoking. 
Foundation has attempted to contain it to prevent these violent activities from activity from activity. Wow, I'm just like I'm on like a like a like a, like a glitch brain today. This is weird. <laughs> just repeating words. Mm. You ready to face down any of these entities down on the street? Nope.